This training video is brought to you by K-Alliance. K-Alliance provides high-quality instructor-led training videos for desktop, IT and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free 7-day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and we hope you learned something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. Well, here we are on the desktop, and what we're going to talk about is the new file explorer. So let me show you where you can quickly find it. What I need you to know is my taskbar is hiding, so I have to bring my mouse to the bottom of the screen, and my taskbar pops up. And on my taskbar, I have two icons. I have the internet icon and the one I want to talk about here. Rest your mouse a second, and it'll show you the file explorer. So let's just click the file explorer to show you what it looks like. And there it opens up, and on the left side in the task pane, libraries is selected, and so my title bar also says libraries. All right, I'm going to go ahead and go over to the right, use the red X to close, so I'm going to go ahead and close that. On my keyboard, I'm going to hit the Windows key because I want to pop over to the Start screen for a moment because people have said to me, but Sherry, I can't find the File Explorer when I'm on the Start screen. Well, anytime you've lost something on the Start screen, just start typing what it is that you're looking for. All I did is start to type file on my keyboard, and it automatically goes into a search mode, and it says, okay, results for file. Now, before I simply click on File Explorer, I have to point something out. Over here on the right, it had apps selected. If I switch that to settings, I'm going to have a lot of different things that are showing up on my screen, and if I switch to files, I have yet different items. So I want you to know that because it was on apps, because it's searching for the File Explorer app, that's what popped up on my screen. So to get to the File Explorer from the Start screen, I simply click and ta-da, on the desktop, and there are my libraries, exact same place I was before. Now let me just switch in the task pane on the left here. I just want to switch this to say desktop. And when I switch to desktop, now at the top, it says I'm on the desktop. So this is a, a very live um, dialog box, if you will, in that whatever you have selected on the left, and this is called the navigation pane, wherever you're clicking on the left, it's going to show that at the top on the, the uh, title bar. Okay, so this part on the left is called the navigation pane. And as you can see, all you do is click on it, the navigation pane, and it takes you to that part of your computer. And a lot of times people call this my computer because it is. It's where you can go search and you can get your computer items. And down here is actually my computer, right? So you can click on my computer. So on the left, you can easily and quickly go to wherever it is that you would like to be inside of your computer. You also have, at the top of your screen, you have some nice arrows. You have go back, and it'll just take you back in time to where you were before, right? I'm just clicking the back button, and it's just taking me back. And forward, you can also go forward. So this is a really great feature if you know, oh, I was just there, but where was there? Well, just click the back and forth buttons. It will take you there. Now, I want to I want to drill down into an area, so I'm going to go click on the C drive, and in the C drive, I'm just going to click on users, and in users, I'm going to click on public, and in public, I'm going to go to public music, and I'm going to stop there. Because what I want to show you then is, I call this the breadcrumb. It's the little trail. It says, well, you started in computer, then you went to the C drive, then you went to users, and you saw me do it right down the line. At any time, you just want to back up. The up button's back. Some of you remember that from previous versions. If I click the up button, it's just taking me back one item at a time, right? Or let me go back in, users, public, right? And I'll stop there. You also can go across the trail here as you rest your mouse on the items. It identifies exactly what's selected, and you can click the drop down arrow and you can make different choices. So if you've made an incorrect choice along your path, you can quickly and easily change the path to decide where it is you would like to explore, where it is you would like to get to inside of your computer. Well, what if you have no idea where you want to go? Well, I'm going to click on C drive. So I'm going to click on C drive. And up here in the top right, you have a search. And because I clicked on C, it says search local disk C. Now, if I clicked on home group, it switches to search home group. So it knows what you have selected. 
Well, somewhere in a library, I'm going to go ahead and click on library. Somebody on a, somewhere in a library, I have a picture of a truck. So in that search, I'm simply typing truck. I didn't hit enter. I didn't do anything other than to click in the libraries, type truck in the search, and it found my picture of my truck inside of my library. For those of you who have extensive documents and you have so much in your computers, your searches might not be quite as quick as mine just went, but they are, they are quick. They don't take very long at all. So as you can see, there's some really, really nice features to help you find what you're looking for here inside of the File Explorer. And last but not least, I want to go down here to the bottom. And in the bottom, you have different views, right? You have the thumbnail view and you have Oops, excuse me, there it is right there. And you have the, I call this the details view. So let's go to something with more details in it. This has more items. So there's the detail view and there's the folder view, right? So you get to choose which one you take a look at, which one you like, just down in the bottom right hand corner. All right, one last thing I want to show you and then we're going to leave this one. All right, clicking the X to close the file explorer. Back down on the taskbar. You already know that if you click the File Explorer, it opens. If you click it again, it closes. So here's a great little trick. What if you want to copy files? I want to copy from the C drive to my folder that I created. Well, you click once to open it. Now this time on your mouse, you're going to click your middle button or your wheel. For me, it's a wheel. And when I click my wheel, now I have a second copy. So now you can see I have two copies of my File Explorer. And you can do your little organizing. I just have the corner selected, so I'm resizing. Let me grab this one in the top right hand corner. Let me resize this one. So now I have two copies of my file explorer. So in one screen, I can have something opened. And on a different screen, I can have something different open. And I can copy from one screen to the next. So it's a really great little trick. Just remember, that's just simply clicking on your middle button. So get out there and explore that new file explorer. I think you're going to find it very efficient to use and a great way to locate those files that you need for your everyday tasks. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.